Getting the Right Team In the previous chapters, we've discussed about hiring a team to better handle the tasks that are needed to ensure your business thrives. The right team delivers the best results and will ensure the continuity of your business. But first, what is an ideal team size for your business? It's recommended to start with around five to seven people. A small initial team size is very important so that you can maintain team dynamics at the highest level. Dynamics require a solid context. So unless a solid context is set at the beginning, a team that is too small will only operate on orders and become very transactional and operational. You need to be there physically most of the time to manage such a team. And opinions that matter really won't be voiced by your small team. You don't want that to happen because you want your team to speak their thoughts, debate and challenge you in healthy ways. It's only through that process that you'll be able to spot and cover gaps in the business and ultimately do better. A yes person who says yes to everything, well, that kind of person is definitely a no-no on a team that's gonna grow. Keep a healthy balance between operational staff, creative staff, and managers or supervisors in the team you hire. A good setup would be two managers or supervisors to every three staff. This is to keep the system running smoothly and maintain an optimal standards level. And again, keep in mind that you need to minimize the backseat roles in your business. So your staffers, they're not passive, but they're not managers either. Be clear on who you want and what positions you want to fill. You may do this from the list of tasks that you did earlier on. This will allow you more free time to start thinking on a higher level and work on your business, not in it. So do you want to hire a full-time staff or do you want to only pick up contractual staff that only serve for certain projects? The answer really depends on you, whether you want a full-time or contractual staff. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses, of course. A full-time staff has the highest chance of developing company loyalty and a sense of ownership to both their roles and the business. And the result is a committed workforce. But a part-time or contractual team can be an excellent staffing option too for smaller young businesses due to the potential for flexibility and the relatively low cost. Such workers necessarily work fewer hours and so they'll cost less in wages. You could even outsource certain rudimentary tasks to keep costs low. In terms of hiring, it's recommended to go with long-term contracts. You may also want to consider having a profit sharing scheme where the team can leverage off the business's success. This promotes empowerment, very strong staff loyalty, and lower staff turnover. This means less training time while saving you more time during the period of hiring and interviewing.